are out here at the San Bernardino County Museum, and I'm here with Eleanor from Incredible Edible Community <laughs> Gardens. Once again, what have you guys done now? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joel. Um, what we have done is actually put an installation here at the museum. It's an installation on the future of agriculture that we should be seeing in this county and throughout the country, and that's aquaponics and bringing aquaponics to the community to understand how you can grow a renewable source of protein as well as a renewable so source of produce. Consider our drought. This is a way to deal with um, the impact of drought to be able to continue to feed communities in a way that's healthy and affordable. Give me like in a, in a couple sentences what exactly aquaponics is. Well, it's a closed system and we have water circulating through the whole system. We're actually balancing three ecosystems. We've got bacteria, we've got plants, and we've got fish. And all of them have to coexist in this closed system in a way that can make our plants thrive. Why an exhibit here at the San Diego County Museum? Well, there's a lot of reasons. One, it makes for an opportunity for educating um, you know, the communities throughout the county. But in seriousness, our community really is challenged and struggling. 95% of our community's kids um, qualify for reduced or free lunch programs. That's an important indicator of what kind of poverty we're dealing with here. This is an opportunity that makes it affordable, it's scalable, and it's fun sure. to be able to grow your own food. In the Inland Empire, you know, we just don't do a television show. I actually try to get out and get involved with a lot of different cities and groups. And the Incredible Edible Community Gardens comes up a lot. You did the thing, the fruit park in Montclair. You obviously have the Veterans uh, Park and growth in Upland. San Bernardino, you guys transformed a park. And here we are in San Bernardino County, in Redlands, in San Bernardino County Museum. You guys are making a name for yourself. You, yes, it's a movement, but it's also a real opportunity for all of us to come together. And I think Incredible Edible Community Garden really makes that happen in a seamless way. Not to mention we have a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, you do. You do, and it's about the community. I, I love that. So why did we bring you out here to see an exhibit like this? Well, why don't we go inside and let's actually see it and touch it and what it's all about. That sounds great. Cool. So Jeff, how's it going, man? Hi, Joel. <laughs> good to see you again. You bet. Good to see you. So take me through what appears to be a greenhouse, right? Well, you know, it, it is. It is a greenhouse, and it all starts right here. Okay. What do we have here? This is where we have about 60 tilapia fish growing. They're only about three months old right now, so they're only about this long. <laughs> they're pretty big for three months, huh? Wow. Don't you think? Yeah, yes. indeed. Now, when they're full grown, though, they'll be about this big. So, what do you mean it all starts right here? So go ahead, take me through it. Okay, so the, this is where the fish live, and because this is where we feed them at, at they and obviously they stay here, this is where they also go to the bathroom. And we want that water, because that wastewater from the fish is collected in this tank. Wow! Now, this... So from this tank, it flows into this tank. Okay. And from this tank, which is all the wastewater directly from the fish tank, yeah. we pump it up that purple pipe and across the ceiling in that purple pipe and across the other side of the building in that purple pipe. And then it spreads out in those two purple pipes and it puts all that dirty fish water in these boxes in the upper row. And that's exactly what these plants want, Joel. It's that wastewater with all that fish waste in it, all that fish poop and all that fish pee, and that forms something called nitrate and nitrite, and that's all produced by the fish waste, and that's what our plants really like to have to grow big and strong. All right, so I'm curious, Jeff, take me through some of the plants that we have here. Well, the, this great big leafy vine you see here, that's, that's squash, and then we have some garlic chives here, and there is uh, uh, bell, an orange bell pepper back in the back corner. Sage right here. That's what I'm, I'm trying to figure out what it is that's really strong. There. Okay. We have a basil plant here, mm -hmm. and this is oregano, and uh, uh, Greek oregano to be exact, and more another squash. Here we have a tomato plant. I'm gonna have to get some uh, some oh, more shade, string yeah. and. Uh, 
run some string across so he can <laughs> stand up. Wow. And uh, this is a purple basil. This is a chaya tree branch that we're seeing if we can get the branch to root. Oh, wow. Okay. To grow roots, a broken branch. Yeah. So we've got some different types of lettuces. This is a bell pepper. No, I'm sorry. This is a jalapeno pepper. And then we have a, a cubanella pepper, and we have a, um, another jalapeno, and we have some parsley, and we have some cilantro, and another tomato. Up here we have some field grasses and ferns. The purpose of those is just to get some roots in the water. It's about balance. That's the key to the success of one of these operations, is to balance the plants with the amount of fish. Jeff, what are you going to be doing with all the plants that you're growing here? You know, uh, Joel, this is a demonstration garden. It's a permanent exhibit here at the uh, San Bernardino County Museum. Mm -hmm. And we will be changing out the different plants that we have displayed here. Um, were this a production garden, we would have want, we could probably produce, if, if our goal would be to have twice the amount of grow beds that we have right now. Whatever fruit, vegetables, or produce that we do happen to produce and harvest, we will donate to the local food bank. Jeff, thank you so much. And if you want more information, you can always go to InlandEmpireExplorer.com to find out the hours and how you can come and check it out. Well, you heard it. You've seen it. It's been called a historic exhibit here in the Inland Empire, demonstrating the future of agriculture. Jeff, thanks again, man. Appreciate it. All right. You're welcome.